What is this? You'll find out in a minute. So. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Wow, what a great intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Peter, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Why are there so many things? You might be asking yourself, is this another male unboxing video? It is not. It's not. You guys like seeing what we buy, what we purchase. So we've been kind of piling this, the packages up in the corner for the last month and a half. And <laughs> now is the day where we get to unbox so our presents. So excited. Some of this stuff, I've been so tempted, but we're waiting for you guys. Come with us on this adventure. Okay, so it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. A lot of these items don't really cost that much. They're really low cost items, except for two big ones. <laughs> Let's start off first with this big box right here from Amazon. And once again, I don't remember what probably most of these items are. So it's so like Christmas morning for me. That's why I'm wearing my Christmas themed Avenger shirt. Yes. Recently, we built a droid shelf and there was a few droids missing from that shelf. Some of them you guys mentioned on the in the comments. Yeah. So I did buy a couple droids. Okay. This is one of them. So this is IG-11. Oh, yay. From Mandalorian. How cool. Great job. Yeah, and this is Kotobukiya, which is the Japanese company that makes a lot of the droids of my droid shelf. Yeah, you love that company, yeah. huh? It's like one tenth scale. Like all the other <laughs> Kotobukiya figures, it's magnetic. Oh, so it that's kind cool. Of sticks on there, kind of. I love how they give you this little stand. Yeah, I don't use the stands because we put them on the thing up there, but. But there he is. What do you think of IG-11? I think he's so handsome. I love him so much. I'm so happy we have him. That was a great purchase. <laughs> okay, so the question is, where do we put IG-11 on the shelf? We could put him next to IG-88, but then that would, they look too similar, right? Oh, they're best friends. So let's put him all the way over on this side, right over here. Keeping it on the Mandalorian theme, I found something today, just when we went to Target. I wasn't gonna get it, and then somebody, my conscious, like my voice inside my head was like, Kitra, <laughs> you have to get this. It was the last one left. Well, the other thing is we were walking down this, this aisle in Target, mm -hmm. and there was only one of them left there. Yeah. So I was like, if you leave now, yeah. there's chances you will never find them. And I did leave now, and then like, I got maybe like 100 feet and then I ran back and luckily it was still there. Okay, so what did you get? The child with frog Funko Pop. He looks so cute because he has the frog He's coming out of his so mouth. so cute. And I know what you guys are thinking. I already have the giant child Funko Pop bobblehead. Do I really need like another one? Yes. The answer is yes. Oh my God. <sighs> Look at how cute he is. Okay. And I think it was only like $8, which is like such a good deal. You're gonna like, you know how I have a droid shelf? You're gonna have to have a Baby Yoda yeah. corner. Yeah. Which is all, with all the Baby Yoda stuff that everybody has sent you. Yeah. The stuff you bought. I think it's a little bobblehead. He's so cute. By the way, if we can find any of this stuff online, I'll put, we'll put links in the video description below. I have a problem. I like to buy t-shirts. I buy lots and lots of t-shirts. Our he closet does. is filled with hangers, with t-shirts. We had to buy more hangers recently because I was like, Peter, <laughs> like legit, we had to buy more. One of the companies I like buying t-shirts from is a company called Heroes and Villains. If you've ever seen me wearing Star Wars t-shirts that have the concept art, like the Ralph McQuarrie concept art, that is from Heroes and Villains. So I got two t-shirts here. I wanted to show, show you them. For Return of the Jedi, one of your favorite That's movies. That's so cool. Yeah, I showed her this. She didn't want it though, for whatever reason. I just got really excited because I thought he was like surprising me with a t-shirt, but it's for. When I showed you it on my phone, you like were you, It's fine. You like said it's you were fine. not interested. I feel like a character that I always neglect to talk about how much I love is Max Rebo. He's one of my faves. I just love the the design here, how Jabba the Hutt looks like so, so weird. And, yeah. yeah. It, I wonder what this is from. I don't actually know the story behind this. I don't think this is Ralph McQuarrie. It says Java's Palace Gangsters and Swindlers. Yeah. Oh my God, that's really cool. I regret not getting it, but it's okay. <laughs> Max Rebo and Salacious Crumb. 
the little uh, wart. wart guy and Gamorian guard. This is an yeah, awesome t-shirt. It is really cool. And the other t-shirt I bought from them is one of the only Ralph McQuarrie concept art t-shirts I did not already own. This one's of Darth Vader and it's in the Imperial kind of like symbol. Oh, I like that. It's simple. Yeah. It's kind of like, it took me a second to like figure out what was going on there. That's what I like about some of the heroes and villains stuff is it's not like obvious. It doesn't all say like Star Wars and it's yeah. not in your face. There's nothing wrong with shirts that say Star Wars because trust me, we've got a bunch of those, but those no. are both very different. Yeah, it doesn't have the child's face on it and say, the child, Mandalorian. <laughs> I don't know, it yeah. bugs me that like all the shirts are like I that. agree, but that being said, I would still wear a shirt that yeah. said that. I mean, we do. Yeah. So. Those are really cool. Two good choices. I have no regrets not getting that Jabba's Palace shirt at all. Now she's making me feel bad for not buying her the t-shirt. <laughs> I'm not. I just was like, oh my God, what a sweet surprise. But it's fine. I know that you love Return of the Jedi too. Okay, speaking of a sweet surprise. <gasps> oh my God, there is a sweet surprise? I'm sorry. I didn't get you that t-shirt. I okay. did get you a t-shirt. So here, you can open it up. <laughs> okay, yeah. I remember when you showed me this one too. Wait, is this what I think it is? Yeah, okay. Yep. Now this one is even cooler. I love that one, but this one is even cooler. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Are you guys ready for this? I mean, the suspense is probably killing you. It's beautiful. Wow, and I love this color. I wear too much dark colors, so I think Yeah, I was gonna is... get it in black, and then I was like, you know what, it doesn't, it looks better in this color. Yeah, so. it is. Do you guys know who it is? Leave it in the comments down below. Yeah, if you go to Walt Disney World, you might recognize this guy. He's one of my favorites. His name is Sunny Eclipse, and you can find him in what is it called? Cosmic Rays? Yeah, it's in, in Tomorrowland. In Tomorrowland, it's a restaurant. He's like a Frank Sinatra, like alien. Yeah, it's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese where he's on stage yeah. and he's performing for you while you're eating really bad <laughs> yeah, the cheap food, hamburgers. The food in there is not good, but we like to just, every time I go to Magic Kingdom, we'll just go, I'll drag Peter inside and make him stand there for like 10 minutes to watch him. I like him. Yeah. Okay, another thing for the droid shelf. We saw this when we were in Target uh, when, a while back. We were recording a video. I didn't think about it then, but this is about the same scale as the figures that are over there. So this is the probe droid from Empire Strikes Back. We're gonna need a bigger shelf. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm looking back there at our shelf. We already need a bigger shelf. Throw away all this packaging. Yeah, we don't keep toys in their boxes. We set them free in this house. <laughs> yes. This will actually fit on there because it like rises above. Oh, yay. He's so cute. Yeah. I'm so happy you got this. We would walk by this every time we went to Target. It needs to be on the droid shelf. <laughs> the problem with this guy is he's pretty big. So like, where do you, where do you fit him in this whole puzzle? Okay, so next up is one of those Galaxy's Edge aftermarket goods. It's where like Disney, there's a hole in the market, <laughs> nobody is making something, so thus fans are making something better than, better than what's being offered in the park by Disney. And this comes from Rocky Mountain 3D Printing. And this is a kyber crystal holder. When I saw this, I needed to buy one. Oh, and it's that's 3D, so cute. It's 3D printed. It looks like the container. Yeah, the lightsaber container. Well, that's based off the containers that they like stored the kyber crystals in Rogue One. Oh. So yeah, so it looks like that. And this, if you remember in the corner in Savi's, they had like a big box like that. And well, first of all, you can get in any color you want. Like yeah. there's a bunch of different colors that they can print it. And then you can put any symbol here you want. Mm -hmm. I got the Imperial symbol, so I, my plan was to put the black kyber in here, to have a spot for the black kyber. Oh, so it has like its own special place. Yeah, and the cool thing is when you press this button. Wow, so cool. <laughs> See, that's the problem. It's not working correctly. I don't know. When you press the button, it, it lights up and the kyber crystal that is there kind of like lights up, but it's a little bit janky. It's not working properly, right? Yeah. Like. I'm not sure if I can, the idea for this is incredible. And also with the kyber crystal inside there, it doesn't look like it's lit up as much as I thought it was gonna. So I'm, I'm not sure if I can quite 
recommend this or not. It also has a cover text, so you could put it on your like <laughs> on your belt. belt. Yeah, belt. Oh whatever. My God. But I don't know. I think that's a cool idea, right? Let's talk about some Galaxy's Edge aftermarket goods that we can recommend. All right, let's talk about it. That's what the people want. We did not buy these. These were sent to us by the good people at Hondo Supply. And they are a good company. They're on Etsy. They make a ton of stuff and it's all super cool. Wait, are is? these like our droids? It's, it's an ID for our droid. So it says the maker, it says the origin, and it shows our droid there and has our colors. So it's like a little ID. This is my name. Yeah, and it e name. even says the name of the of the drive. Flatty. Mine says R3BL. Yeah, so how cool is that? So if you have a dr if you make a droid, you can get him his own ID. This is awesome. Yeah. We recommend this 100%. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. In Smuggler's Run, when you get assigned a role, they they normally give you your role on like a little <laughs> yeah. thing. Here's the ticket to display. We're gonna eventually make a Galaxy's Edge wall with stuff, and I think this would be a cool like, This thing. will be perfect. Yeah. He sent us these keychains that are Arabesh translators. That's perfect for me, because I still don't know. <laughs> Here's a wooden one. These are really awesome. And the other thing that he sells is name tags. So he got your name tag, which has... It has Kitra, and then it has... Wait, is that Endor? That's Endor. Okay, and then yours is Tatooine? Tatooine, yeah. And mine has a little Death Star up there. That's so cool. Yeah. How cool is that? So cool. Everything in from this guy's shop. And it has magnetic backing, so you can put it in. I'm not sure if we'd wear this in... in no, Galaxy's but this would be cool to like, like as a magnet or something. Yeah, the cool thing is in Galaxy's Edge, they have their own name tags that has kind of like a two yeah. on it. And these are the versions they have for all the other movies. Yeah. So, I have Tatooine, you have... These are really fun. Indoor. Go over to Hondo Supply and check out these things because- Every he... single one of these things is amazing. This made my day. Okay, so last year I was at Comic-Con. Actually, almost exactly a year ago. I was wandering the show floor. We made a video. Actually, I made two videos <laughs> for this channel. Yeah, one of the things I found was over in the Sideshow booth. It was in one of the display cases. It was a Hot Toys uh, scaled figure and I knew we had to have it. So I bought it way back then. It has now been delivered. So, oh my gosh, what is it? I don't remember what you were looking at in that video. <gasps> oh my God. Look at his little face. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's Wicked. Yeah. Wow, how did, how was this just sitting here for this long and we didn't open it? <laughs> Just look at, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, this is like Christmas morning. Look at that little fluff. Wow. That's not a picture from the movie, that's a picture of yeah, the Yeah, and it looks so real. <gasps> it's so little. What a sweet little, little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Does it feel like leather? Or yeah, something? this is like real leather, obviously. He's nice and fluffy. This is like the coolest thing. It looks exactly like him. Yeah. There's an assortment of different hands. Actually, it looks kind of freaky. Yeah. <laughs> and he has his uh, spear. Yeah. Put a spear. I love it. It says Star Wars Wicket. And then it has like some little plants. Oh, this goes in the corner here. And it's just like a little display It's just piece. like a cute little thing on the side. Yeah. Very minimal, very cool. I can't wait to play with all the different hands that he's got in there. Yeah. Wow, how exciting. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Okay, I knew you would, I knew you'd how be. How did you like keep this from me? So last year we were in Disneyland. We were recording a video and we saw the Halloween tree. And I said to you, I was like, we need to get a Halloween tree for our house. So you ordered a Halloween tree. Didn't happen last year, but this year Halloween is, tr they're trying to cancel Halloween. So we are gonna, we're gonna celebrate in grand style Halloween here. It was hard to find a good 
what yeah. I wanted for a Halloween tree. Like I didn't just want like a black yeah. Christmas tree. We wanted like a spooky looking tree. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of creepy looking. But we need to like put the branches out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a Christmas wow, tree. It's very big. Do you think it was gonna be small? I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but we could put so many ornaments on this. And it lights up, has orange lights. This is perfect, Peter. You did such a good job. Yeah, I like this. And we just need to like move out the branches, make it a little bit more 3D, but yeah. I and love how this makes the place like all like orange. <sighs> this is awesome. We're gonna have so many cool decorations this year. I'm not, I'm keeping this up right now. Halloween starts right now, <laughs> right? Or should I wait until later? I think it starts right now. Gizmo, oh my gosh, you look so spooky. You got all that orange light on you. What do you think about the Halloween tree? Do you like it? <laughs> he says, I look like a, a demon, mama. What do you think of the Halloween tree? What do you guys think of the Halloween tree? She loves it. Love it. She says, I'm always gothic. Spooky! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Write us in the comments below, you know, what ornaments should be on our yeah, all in tree. Spooky ornaments. Speaking of which, I did make one purchase for this. Oh, okay, great. I gotta admit, when I when I bought this online, I thought it was going to be bigger than it is. <laughs> okay. It turns out that these ornaments are for like one of their mini trees what it is. Oh, we saw these, if you guys remember when we went to the Hallmark store and they were sold out. Yes, yeah, the mini faces of Jack Skeleton. They're a lot smaller than I thought. Like a picture online, I thought like, oh, those oh, they are were gonna cool. be, I thought they were gonna be like that big, but it turns out they're as big as a penny. They're really cool, regardless. Yeah. Another droid that you guys all were asking for. Oh, it's L3 from Solo. Yeah, L337. That's a good Solo one to Star have. Star Wars story. So yeah, uh, we, we, we need to have her. She's we a do. main character of one of the movies. The Black Series figures aren't quite one-tenth scale, but they're close enough. She does look small. Like if you look, if you compare her against the R units, like it really isn't quite the scale. So you know what? I'm gonna put her in front of the Iron Giant over here. I think the bridge shelf is coming together. There's this website called Shirt Punch and they are based out of Canada. So keep in mind, if you order from this website, it takes a really long time. Throw COVID on top of that, these t-shirts took like two and a half months to get here. So what I like to do is they have these things called mystery t-shirts. Kitra likes a mystery box type thing. <laughs> Who would have thought? Open it. Let's do it. Open it. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm, I'm sorry. These, I think they were $4. I got them as part of a Memorial Day like special price, but I think normally they're like five or $6, so it wasn't like that big of a savings. Yeah. But it was enough of a deal that it got me to click. I bought 10 shirts. But some of my favorite shirts that I've gotten in the past were mystery shirts. Like this is totally mm. random. And then there is one shirt that I actually do know what it is. I bought one shirt and then I added 10 more. So I actually have 11 shirts. <laughs> so excited. I need some new t-shirts in my life, so I'm hoping at least half of these are awesome. Okay, so right up front is the, actually the one that I bought for myself. It was a super sweet deal. I think it was only like $12. And it glows in the dark. It is the owl from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Oh, I would have never known what that was. <laughs> it was, I bought this like right around the time that like Animal Crossing first came out and I yeah. was like, not that I'm not into it anymore, but I was like, oh my God, I need that shirt. And then it took like two and a half months to get here. <laughs> okay, I can already tell that uh, the second shirt. What is this? It looks like heavy metal-ish. You don't like this? Oh, okay, this is a show. This is a cartoon. It's called Death Clock. Or de death lock. Death lock. So you're gonna be wearing a t-shirt for a show that you didn't even know the name of? I mean, I've seen the show before. It's been a really long time. Okay, so I was thinking, since I could already tell there's some in here, even just the colors that I don't want, like a white one, maybe I'll, I could do a giveaway with the other ones or something. How about this? Let's do a give giveaway with some of these t-shirts in the next mail unboxing. Okay. Oh, okay. I know this, Ghostbusters. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like the 
schematics for the ghost trap. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah. It's white, which... You don't you normally like I just don't like white shirts because they're see-through, but I mean, I can wear it to bed. Yeah. Something that I like, a fandom that I enjoy. Oh, is this Kramer? It looks like Kramer. Oh, thank I don't God. get the joke though. Is that a, like a, a mashup of him and... I feel like this is a Seinfeld thing. I thought you were a big Seinfeld fan. I am, fan. but it's been so long since I've seen it that don't call me out. But I do like this one. I like the color. Frank the Tank. <laughs> what is Frank the Tank? I, from, I know that. From old school. Oh. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I like this. I love that movie. I used to like love Will Ferrell, so I'm okay with this one. Yeah. Sophist sophisticated. And it's a f <laughs> <laughs> And it's a fish with a top hat and a a bow tie, bow tie drinking like a cup of tea. Is that Pixel as a fish? It does kind of look like Pixel, huh? Feeling unhappy with this, the choice of mystery shirts? Kind of. I'm not perfect, but who are we kidding? Neither are you, and you want to know what? I dig it. <laughs> what is that? Is that from something, or is it just? I feel like these are like bottom of the barrel t-shirts. I swear the ones that I got the first time were yeah, you got so some cool. cool. Ones. Yeah. Sleep. These are all sleeping shirts so far, to be honest. <laughs> oh wow, that Animal Crossing one was only eight dollars. So eight dollars times so forty-eight dollars plus probably like ten dollars for shipping. For eleven shirts, not bad. Not bad, but okay. Well, you have more to open. I right? don't know. I think this is really fun, and I still encourage you guys like to do this. <laughs> I'm not short, I'm a hobbit. What do you think of that one? And it's green and the I, signature kind of gold, I yellow. I do like the colors once again, and I do actually really love Lord of the Rings, but like, am I really gonna wear this go when we're out like filming videos? Dumb oh, and Dumber, Mutt's Cuts. This one's awesome. Okay. This is the first one that I truly am like, Dumb and Dumber is one of my favorite movies. I love dogs. It's the, you know, it, it, the it's, Muttmobile. Yeah, it's kind of niche enough to like, yeah. you might know it, you might not. I like it. And I, I like the color. Yeah. Okay. So this was worth it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I would I, I would normally like, if I was buying something from Heroes and Villains or something, it's like a t-shirt like this would be like 20, 25 bucks. Yeah, plus shipping. You spent less than 50 bucks yeah. for all these t-shirts. I don't yeah. think it's that big of a loss if you yeah. don't like some of them. Yeah, but I really do like this one. Okay, oh thank God, thank goodness. <laughs> this is very cute. What is this, green and gray. We got some nunchucks. Oh, is this a uh, Ninja Turtles? <gasps> okay, this one's cool too. Yeah, Ninja Turtles. It has a pizza. Oh my God. And this one's cool, and I like that it's gray with the green. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> you finally got some ones that okay, you like. Okay, so so far I think I have like four that I like. <laughs> I like it. it has uh, Michelangelo's nunchucks there. It has Raphael's uh, size right there. It has Donatello's yeah. staff right there, and it has Leonardo's. Wow, what do they look, call those, katanas? Wow, look at you and your turtles knowledge. Hey, I was a big Ninja Turtle fan when I was younger, so. Yeah, that's, this one's cool. I like that. <laughs> one left, it's another gray one. Oh, it's Batman. Oh, Batman. I like Batman. This is simple, simple and nice. It's, a, it's okay. It's not, not like anything special about it, but. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the paint splatter. Okay. Cool. Overall, are, are you happy? I mean, they were $4 each. So yes, I'm happy because I feel like it was a really good deal. Do I feel like the shirts maybe over the years have declined in like the quality of what they send in the mystery shirts? Maybe. <laughs> Do I still recommend doing this deal? Absolutely. If you could wait like two months to get your stuff shipped to you. Okay, so if you want any of the items that we showed in today's shopping spree, or COVID shopping spree, where you make all these like bad decisions. You're online in, in the middle of the night, and your bed can't, you can't sleep. You're worrying about the world, and you're like on Amazon. And you're like, yeah. Can't buy, buy it now or whatever. Yeah, we'll put links to everything in the description. I'll even put links to this shirt website. Are, are we making good decisions with our lives buying all the stuff? I think everything we got is pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with all the purchases I made. I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 
It's fine. It's fine. It actually, they gave me like a $15 store credit because it took so long to get here. So like, oh wow, I could buy more if I wanted to. <laughs> we'll make this a regular feature yeah. on Ordinary Adventures. Kitra buys mystery shirts. I mean, that could be fun. Let us know if you want to watch that show. <laughs> As always, we'd like to thank our Patreons. Without you guys, this would not be possible. You're helping keep this adventure going and support us on Patreon. You get bonus episodes, you get your name in the credits, just like <laughs> these guys. And we especially want to thank Angel Ganey and Jeff and Tracy Strasha. And Sean Crowder and Kyle Finley. Thank you guys to our Jedi Knights. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next adventure. Wow, Baby Yoda, your voice is so beautiful. I didn't know you could talk yet. Where are you going? See you guys. <laughs>